Magnetic effects of current. Lecture number one. Coming to the introductory part, in this particular lecture, we will be dealing with the concept of magnetic field and magnetic field lines. The magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field electric motor electric generator and the concept of electromagnetic induction in short EMI so let's start with the magnetic field and the field lines concept now what is a magnetic field a magnetic field is an effect caused due to moving electrons. Note that any stationary electron will develop an electric field only. But a moving electron will develop a magnetic field in addition to the electric field. And coming to field lines. Field lines is just a visualization of the pathway of the magnetic field for any magnet piece. For example, if you consider a bar magnet on a piece of paper and if we draw few iron fillings around it and tap the paper, then we'll see the iron fillings will get arranged in a specific manner. This is the direction of the magnetic field lines. So for a better understanding, you can actually have a look at the images coming soon. So this image will give you a better idea of what I am actually talking about. And the image on the right shows the direction of the magnetic fields. Okay, which is from north to south externally. So coming to the magnetic field direction. So for any moving electron, the direction of the magnetic field is given by the right hand rule. So what does the right hand rule say? It says that if the thumb of the right hand is placed along the direction of the motion of the electron, then the direction of the magnetic field will be given by the direction of the curling of the four fingers of the right hand. Okay. So for a better understanding, please have a look at the following diagrams. Here the thumb shows the direction of flow of the electrons and the curling of the fingers show the direction of the magnetic field around it. Okay. Now let's study about the magnetic field due to current carrying conductor. So we know that any moving electron will generate a magnetic field and a conductor carries a free electrons which is a fact. So for any conductor when it conducts a current that is when the free electrons move then a magnetic field gets developed around it. And this direction has already been shown before. Okay. So but to have a further grip on the direction, I'll show it to you again. Please remember this and please try to understand. So coming back to the concept of magnetic field due to current carrying conductor. If I similarly have a conductor which is in an electric loop, for example, I repeat, if I have a conductor which is an electric loop, such as the following one. Then, in each tiny segment of the wire or the conductor, it contributes to a magnetic field as per the direction shown in the previous images. So what I basically mean is, each part of the wire will have a moving electron and each electron will be contributing to a magnetic field because of its motion. Do you get that? So, for each particular segment, the direction of magnetic field 
a circular as shown in the loops and the diagram below. So the resultant direction of the magnetic field will be the sum of all the individual magnetic fields and will be given by the following diagrams depending on the direction of the current okay now let's discuss about a solenoid but what is a solenoid a solenoid is nothing but a current carrying conductor which is coiled tightly as shown so if this is the direction of current then the direction of the field lines is as shown okay so the main advantage with the solenoid is the magnetic field can be made to concentrate in a specific region as shown in the figure below now let's determine the direction of the magnetic field in a solenoid I repeat let's determine the direction of the magnetic field in a solenoid this again follows the right hand rule only here the direction of the field is given by the thumb and the direction of current is given by the four fingers okay here the thumbs rule and the four fingers rule has been interchanged now let's study about the force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field so a current carrying conductor of some length in presence of a magnetic field will experience a force okay this force is called as the magnetic force the magnetic force has a direct relationship with the current and the magnetic field and the length of the conductor which you will be learning in class 12 and the direction of the magnetic force follows a simple rule now what is this rule let's learn about it okay so let's learn about the direction of the magnetic force so the direction of a magnetic force can be decided with the help of Fleming's right hand rule which says that if the index finger points the B and the middle finger points the direction of I then the thumb points the direction of F which is the magnetic force we can alternatively use the traditional right hand rule okay so for example if I have two parallel conductors carrying current in the same direction they attract each other and two parallel conductors carrying currents in the opposite direction they repel given below is a diagram illustrating the same thing okay now let's proceed to something called as an electric motor so an electric motor is a device which uses electrical energy to convert it into mechanical energy so motor converts the electrical energy to a mechanical energy it is basically used in washing machines grinders etc now let's discuss about the working of motor fine now let me show you how it looks internally so basically a motor is built up with this equipment please have a look at the text given below accordingly pause your video okay so let me teach you about the electromagnetic induction as the name suggests this is the generation of the electric field due to a change in the magnetic flux so a magnetic flux is the product of the magnetic field and the area of cross section so any change in the flux that is the magnetic field only or the area of cross section only or a change in both will lead to an induced electric field okay this is what EMI means so given below and the diagrams of the same thing in which we experience a change of flux which consequently generates an induced electric field fine 
Now let's proceed to the concept of electric generator. As the name suggests, it is a generation of electric electric energy by the use of mechanical energy. Here the mechanical energy is used in the form of rotating the shaft to generate a sinusoidal current with the help of two or more commutators or brushes. So given below is a diagram of an electric generator which uses mechanical energy to rotate the shaft to produce a sinusoidal current. Please read the text and accordingly pause your video. Fine. The continuation of this le lesson can be found in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.